Hey, it's uh, Jean from The Wealthy Builder, and Happy New Year. Are you looking to crush 2023 and grow your uh, construction business? You're in the right place. It's great to set goals for the year, but a better way of planning out your year is to set the number of actions you need to take in order to reach those goals. And that's where I've put together the Wealthy Builder Calculator, and it does exactly that for you. Let's take a look at it. So it's um, first off, the spreadsheet is in uh, view only mode. So you see here at the top view only. What you can do is you click on file, come down here, make a copy, and then you can change the name here, uh, get rid of the copy part, and make a copy to your, uh, your My Drive, and then uh, presto. You've got the file so that you can edit it. So knowing your profit goal for the year and a few metrics, this calculator will provide you with your required sales target for the year and for the month, the number of jobs required per month, and the number of quotes required per month. So let's take a look at this in more detail. So I've got uh, two columns here. You've got your example, and then you've got where you put your numbers. All you have to do is put your numbers in in the yellow squares right beside where I say enter. And then if any of these terms are foreign to you, I've put a, an accounting jargon buster for contractors in the, the second tab uh, on the bottom here. We'll take a look at that uh, later on. But uh, pretty much it's uh, quite straightforward. You don't have to mess around with anything else. It'll do the calculations for you. So let's say you want to uh, to have a, a profit goal for the year. You want to make $50,000 in profit. And that is uh, $50,000 that's uh, beyond your salary. Uh, because your salary, if you're doing a lot of work on the job rather than in the, in the office, like if – if it's like 80% or whatever, put in 80% 80 of your salary in your fixed costs. And uh, so here in the example, we got 50000 is the, the profit goal for the year. Then we got fixed costs. Uh, so your salary that's for on the, on the job, because anything that's the office work, that's going to be overhead rather than Costs of goods sold. Um, in here, you'll also have anything else that's uh, direct labor or uh, direct, direct uh, materials. So any materials that you have to buy for for the job. So uh, and, and this will also include your your subs pay, uh, any employees, all that. You put that in your fixed costs. So then what this is going to do is it's going to calculate your required gross profit. So your your gross profit is your revenue minus your cost of goods sold. That then gives you your gross profit. So 350000 is the gross profit. Now you've got to then put in your target's gross margin. And actually, before we go on to the target gross margin, your fixed costs, if you're wondering where you're going to find that information, if you have your accounting books up to date, all you got to do is look at last year and then take the, the year-end amount. And if you're looking to, to do more business and grow from last year, just do a, multiply it by, you know, if you want to increase um, – Increase your revenue by 25%. Well, increase your fixed cost by 25% in that case. And even though it, your fixed cost might not go up that much, it's just a buffer and it's it gives you a more conservative number. So uh, your target gross margin, this is uh, your, your revenue minus your cost of goods sold divided by your revenue. So you could always take look back at last year and see exactly uh, what's uh, what's that number. 
by going to get your, your sales minus your cost of goods sold and then dividing that by the sales or revenue, um, which is the same thing. So you uh, once you've added that in, it will then uh, calculate the required annual sales that you have to do in 2023. So in the example part here, I've put uh, 65% gross margin on the your number side. I've put 20 just so that you see the difference between how your gross margin can uh, completely change things. Uh, because with the 20% gross margin, you've got to do 1.75 million in sales in order to make your $50,000 a profit. So that's... Uh, your gross margin is, could be completely different than the next contractor. And that all depends on uh, what your costs are and your, your costs of goods sold. So if you're, if you're charging the clients uh, just for labor, well, your gross margin is going to be up higher uh, than if, uh, you, you know, you, you charge for all the materials and you, you're bring all the materials, all that kind of stuff, then your, your gross margin is going to be lower. And then if you're competing, uh, constantly competing on price, your gross margin is probably going to be very, very slim. And the thing is, is that gross margin has to be big enough in order to cover all your overhead expenses and then be able to pay any any uh, general and an admin, and then give you a profit at the end of the year. So, um, yeah. So the that that's what what I what I work on inside the the Nail It program uh, with with my clients. We look at uh, at how we can increase that margin. Uh, so. With, with this margin here, you got 65% on the example. Your number is 20%. Uh, so then after that, it provides you with the required monthly sales. So it just takes the annual sales, divides it by 12. So in the example, you have to do $44,872 in sales per month in order to uh, reach your profit goal for the year of 50000 Then what... Uh, the next number that you have to enter is your average sale value. So what you're going to do is you're going to take a look at last year and look at all this, your, your total sales and divide it by the number of jobs you did. You can always uh, change that a bit, especially if uh, last year was an abnormal year where you, you had like much bigger jobs than, than usual then you can adjust that number. But uh, really, I I would just look at the number of jobs and uh, take your sales number and uh, make the division. Bring that in here. And uh, so in the example, we'll put 10,000. So then that means you got to do 4.5 jobs are required each month to be completed in order to, to hit your target. So then, then we will take it a step further, and it's like, how do you get that many jobs per month? Well, what you got to do is you got to provide quotes. Well, what is your sales conversion rate? So uh, your sales conversion rate uh, could, could be 100%, or it could be, like, it could be anywhere. Uh, but really, if you are... If you're at like uh, 80, 80 to 100 uh, percent conversion rate, I know you know it's like you know beat the the chest and it's like yeah you know I I'm a great salesman yeah but the thing is you're probably leaving a lot of money on the table. Uh, what I would rather see is having a like uh, anywhere from fifty to seventy percent. Uh, conversion rate so that uh, but you're you're able to uh, to have bigger margins you're able to to sell at uh, 
b- bigger profits uh, per project. So here, what I've done in the example, I put 60%. So when it then calculates that you have to do eight quotes per month in order to get four and a half jobs per month. And then he then leads right back up the, the chain. Uh, so pretty much this calculator is it's great because it it will give you your um, it, it's not to just focus on hey I want to make fifty thousand of of profit this year. It actually tells you how you need what you need to do in order to achieve that goal. So um, if you do have any questions. Uh, let me know in the comment section below, or you can always send me a, a message on uh, on social media, and uh, I, I can help you out there. Uh, but the other thing I wanted to show you, like I said earlier, I've uh, I've created an accounting jargon buster for contractors, so it's like uh, you can understand accounting a little bit more, especially if uh, someone else is doing your books or. Maybe you just have like a, a shoe box that you bring to your bookkeeper or tax person at the end of the year. But really, if, if you got a shoe box, you really need to start taking things seriously at this point, especially when, you know, you're, you're probably not doing this, for, you know, for $10,000 a year. It's there's a lot more money flowing. So there's there's about there's over like 50. I think it's like 60 some uh, different terminology. And then you, you've you got your uh, uh, definition, sometimes some examples here. So there, there's that. And then on the, on the third tab, what I've done is I've added some uh, additional resources for you. So there's the link to this video. Uh, you can also get a... Uh, a free copy of my uh, latest book, Construction Business Secrets. So you can click on that, that link there. And then if you want to increase your, your income over the next 90 days, uh, you can uh, always get more information on that by uh, clicking on book a call. And then uh, then we can uh, have a chat for 10, 15 minutes and uh, discuss how, how we could uh, work on that uh, to get you to, to increase your income over the next 90 days. So if you want a, a copy of the Wealthy Builder Calculator to figure out your action goals to meet your profit target for the year, uh, comment profit down below if you're watching this on social media. And if you're on the website, the link for this spreadsheet is uh, just below this video. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope that you crush it in 2023 and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>